Ooh. Broken rear axle. Recently at the end of a ride, I took the wheel off my bike and to throw it in the back of the car and the rear cassette fell off. It was only the through axle holding everything together. Riding a hardtail aggressively is no surprise that the rear wheel is subject to more abuse as there's no suspension to soak up the hits. But I still wondered what might have caused this failure. So the sub axle has sheared off right where the free hub mates to the main hub. Doing a little research, this seems to be a, a not so uncommon failure on road bikes. In that situation, the failure can only really be attributed to forces acting on the hub coming from the drivetrain. So lots of torque being generated on climbs or a sprint. In my case, I prefer climbing in a slightly higher gear uh, at a lower cadence or pedal rotation speed, which probably puts more stress on everything, not least the chain. On newer large range cassettes, there is a greater torque or turning force being transmitted to the hub. The physical distance the chain is from the center of the hub is like creating greater leverage. In the largest gear on the cassette, particularly as the chain is at an angle, there is a stress point occurring in the axle where the free hub meets the hub body, as it's sort of pulling against the axle ends attached to the frame dropouts. This is uh, an older nuke proof hub that perhaps wasn't really designed for these large rain cassettes. Uh, the sub axle is made of aluminium for weight saving, but I think some of the newer hubs are using steel for its greater strength properties. I am however not an engineer, so I'm not really sure about any of this, it's just a bit of a guess. Other reasons would also obviously be impacts on the rear wheel. I try not to, but sometimes end up riding not so smoothly through the rough stuff. Uh, perhaps forgetting to lift the rear wheel over roots or unweighting the bike. Also, my technique on jumps, if you can call it that, often leaves something to be desired, you know, casing everything and <laughs> etc. Anyway, the main point I'm trying to make is just thinking about riding habits in order for bike parts to last longer, you know, kind of adapting the way you ride and getting rid of some of the bad habits. Yeah, anyway, cheers for watching. Leave comments or a like or even a sub if you thought this was in any way useful. Anyway, yeah, cheers, thanks.